You know, the pandemic exposed how important a good internet connection is to getting ahead right now. And the latest federal stimulus program actually included discounts toward broadband service. But tonight, an 11 News investigation found out that taking advantage of the program hasn't been easy. THV 11's Rolly Hoyt sorts out some of the confusion in the emergency broadband benefit. A viewer pointed out a catch 22 when he went to claim an EBB discount. The program offers up to $50 off your monthly internet bill if you qualify. But his local cable company, in this case, Resort Cable in Hot Springs, told him he was already getting a discount and under contract. We looked into it, we got them to change part of that policy. But it spotlights another government aid program that often has bugs to work out before the money gets out the door. It's a little confusing on the, the customer's part, and then it's also um, time consuming on the company's part. Charlotte Dial is the VP of Administration for Waco Video. That's the parent company for 10 cable providers, including Hot Springs, Hope, Forest City, Pine Bluff, Camden, and Searcy. They're offering the EBB, but with a catch. We had to look at the rates that we were charging in December of 20. Uh, you couldn't create, uh, according to the rules, you couldn't create a new promotional rate for uh, this program specifically. Lots of rules. Let's break down how the program works. A family of four qualifies if income is under $36,000, if you qualify for free and reduced school lunch, if you got a Pell Grant, or if you lost almost any job in 2020 because of COVID-19. That's a lot of people. The program is a wonderful program and it is going to be very beneficial to the consumer. Most providers in Arkansas are offering up to $50 off per month. There's also a few offering $100 off the purchase of a computer or tablet. But it's the chance to knock that broadband bill down to almost nothing that has most people interested. And that's where those promotional rates become a problem. We are offering um, uh, a couple of different packages on the retail rate and discounting that. That's when our tipster found out he can't combine offers. He's already getting a discount on the so-called retail rate. To get the government help, he would need to break his contract, sign up for a program paying the full price, then apply the EBB. Oh, and pay an early termination fee. When we pointed it out to the folks at Waco, they changed that last part. We will not require the, cus the consumer to pay that if they want to elect to enter the uh, emergency broadband package. Won't pay it at all or won't uh, put, put it off? It'll be put off. That makes the deal a little better. It could mean you get stuck with a bigger bill later, but it's worth noting how much the government has been throwing money around for several months. And while it's not perfect, it is a step toward wiring many more kids and closing the digital divide. This will help the consumer realize the, uh, the importance of Internet, and it will help the the schools, the children, uh, really believe that. For 11 News Investigates, I'm Roly Hoyt.